Good morning. Um, well, it's one o'clock and I'm still in my pajamas and um, still fasting off of the bulletproof coffee and ketones. So we've been getting a lot done today. So uh, the title of this video, right? Having a clear vision and, um, you know, kind of uh, embracing the fart machines in life. <laughs> so let's let's talk over that because uh, my world's been just going crazy with business, things going really fun, but um, keeping the main thing, the main thing is an important lesson that I am learning every day. And I wanna share with you a little segment from a book that I'm reading um, from my business coach. It's called The One Thing. And it says, achievers operate differently. They have an eye for the essential. They pause just long enough to decide what matters and then allow what matters to drive their day. Achievers do sooner what others plan to do later and defer, perhaps indefinitely, what others do sooner. The difference isn't in intent, but in right of way. Achievers always work from a clear sense of priority. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my day because once I started thinking about it, I thought it was pretty profound and probably a lot of you could relate to this. Um, when I woke up this morning, it was really important that I got outside and I did my daily Devo because you get pulled in a thousand different directions throughout the day. But where's your foundation? Where's your ground? Where is the firm place that you're going to stand and run everything thrown at you through to see if it's aligning with what you want? So I did my devotion, took some time for me, said some prayers, um, did a little bit of journaling, and then I thought about what's my main thing today? I've been in Canada for the last four days, and Monday is the day that my daughter stays home from preschool, and I still have a lot of work to do. But, guys, she'll be in preschool on Tuesday and Thursday, and that is where I can knock out a ton of stuff. So even though I'm going to slip into my office to work today, my main priority was going to be having this day with my daughter and just being flexible with work being secondary. And so I will tell you, I've come a little bit of a ways, but I used to get pretty frustrated if I was in a work block and my daughter was pulling at me or needing something from me and it kept distracting me. Um, so before I began my work block today, I just really made sure that she was set up with her food, that she had her iPad. Um, and then after that, I told her, you know, she could move into the playroom and play with her Barbies. Um, but what ended up happening is I did a Zoom call and she found the fart machine. And so, you know, I am on a Zoom call with a, um, a business guy who's helping me um, add some new features into my business. Uh, we've been waiting for this call a while. And my daughter just starts hitting the fart button and the burp button in the back in the back and I can't even find her and I'm trying really hard to like keep professional but I'm just sitting here thinking oh my gosh oh my gosh is he thinking that I'm farting like and I'm like uh, uh, Char Charlotte <laughs> you know like there are some real loud farts going off in the back and um, you know it just hit me all of a sudden I'm real and this is really happening. My four-year-old is really playing with a fart machine in my office while I'm on a professional Zoom call. But you know what? I'm not in a nine to five and I chose this life to be an entrepreneur and to have my own business so that I can say to this person on the Zoom call, can you hold on for just a second? And then I find my daughter and I'm like, honey, that's hilarious. Let's wait five minutes and then we'll push that button together. And you know, just let it, just let it go. Didn't get mad, didn't get frustrated. I came back to the call and that guy who I was on the call with said, that is the best 
hold excuse I have ever had. And we laughed and we built more rapport with each other. And I think people want to see that we're real. Like we really do have fart machines going off during business calls, right? So, um, and you know, I want people to know that I get I get to have fart machines going off during my business calls because I get to have my daughter in the other room pushing those burps and farts and that's awesome and that's what I signed up for and looking back to where I began my day with the objective, it was to be patient and to let the work be the secondary because tomorrow she's in preschool and it'll be the primary and I'll have nobody making fart noises in the back. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you that. The one other thing that we, um, what we did was we lined out the objections on what we want to get done today on, on the work board. But um, if her, she wasn't the priority, she couldn't have this spot down here. So, right, like here's, here's the work, but she gets to come first today. So <laughs> fart machines, pictures on the work board, um, and now her Aunt Susie's got her at the park and she's having a blast and I'm getting to make this video without a fart machine in it. So loving the life of the entrepreneur mama and just got to be flexible and roll with it sometime. Have a great day.